welcome back to the theme park wizard and i want to see this video uh quite a while ago last week when these pictures came out but i had some other videos to do but i definitely want to still cover this because very very important a very interesting i'd say about again the continued reopening preparations for the disneyland resort and how you'll be getting to the disneyland resort so obviously you'd be going on normal times you'd park the Mickey and Friends if you parked the Mickey and Friends or Pixar Palace parking structures, you would take the tram or walk through downtown Disney to get to the Disneyland Resort, the gates. But with these new pictures of people posting things, Disneyland has set up things along the tram route, like trash cans and chairs and signs that would suggest you'd be walking. That's right, walking from the parking garages to the parks. Now, in Disney World, they don't have the tram service running either, but they do have monorails and Skylanders going as well. So I'm confused if this is a COVID issue or a staffing issue. I know it takes a lot of people, a lot of cast members to staff the trams. Usually there's like two per tram. Monorails, it's like one per monorail. And Skylander, there's nobody. I mean, seven of the stations. But. And I say this because the monorail and Skyliners are both indoors, meaning I feel like you'd have more of a chance of getting sick being inside the enclosed Skyliner cabin or the enclosed monorail car versus being seated at, say, every other row on an open-air tram. So I don't know if it's going to if it's a COVID reason or a staffing issue, but it looks like there won't be any type of tram service to be... to at the, at the start of the opening of Disneyland Resort, which kind of sucks, <laughs> um, because wow, that's uh, especially after a long day. I know the parks probably won't be open until midnight at the beginning, but on a, like a long day, when you've done all the walking and standing in line for rides and done all that stuff, and you're there for like hours and hours, the tram ride to the car is like one of the most relaxing things to get back to the car. So the fact that you have to now walk the extra half mile or a quarter mile or however much it is, uh, kind of put an extra damper on the day. Um, but apparently, I think the Toy Story lot will be open and the buses will still be running there. So you can always park in the Toy Story lot and take the buses. But as you can see, these pictures that have been going by, there's trash cans and benches already set up, suggesting again, you definitely will be walking. And then this last picture here, we have a very uh, well confirmation that of course reservations will be happening. It was, it was uh, well that was already confirmed, but uh, further confirmation where the sign says reservations is covered by the pole in the trees. Though, but it says reservations required for entry. So they'll have like a parks uh, something like the parks pass system at Walt Disney World, and um, and uh, yeah, that's um. That's what is going on. That is a, the latest updates in the a series of reopening procedures that seem to be happening for the Disneyland Resort. Again, they had a press event um, at DCA, at California Adventure, last week, just a couple days ago. All the mayors for the Reopen OC Now campaign. We'll see hopefully in the next couple weeks at the governor at least some theme park guidelines because Disneyland can be ready to reopen. Right after that, Disneyland has canceled a uh, hotel reservation through like mid October or at least October sixth. They're accepting hotel reservations through Oct uh, starting mid October, so I feel like the earliest they would be opening up is in that mid October time frame, which kind of puts a big damper and goodbye to the Halloween season. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I'll be at City Walk also today, making a video on the updates to CityWalk and apparently the music uh, Universal has turned on their in-park music so I'll be checking that out as well so definitely subscribe to the channel for that for more updates on that I did some updates on uh, the Super Nintendo World facade has been installed I'll link that up above as well as Beauty and the Beast is opening September 28th and I'll be doing a POV breakdown of that um, but I'll get out, hop on Zoom and I'll do like a scene by scene breakdown. We'll watch the POV for the first time together on the 28th and we'll do that. I'll break that 
uh, break it down together. I did the same thing for, for Rise of the Resistance when that opened last year. But I'll link the Beauty and the Beast, the link, uh, Tokyo Disney released some online photos of that, or Oriental Land Company released some on, online photos of that. I'll link that up above in the corner as well for you guys to see. And guys, thank you so much. This morning I got to 800 subscribers, currently at 803, so thank you so much for that. It was super impressive. We're on the road to 1,000, so thank you guys for all the support. I love you all so much, and have a fantastic day.